Hello friends, it's Nikki and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you all of my tips and tricks for shooting your Instagram content by yourself. So I know that a lot of people don't always have a boyfriend or friends to go out with them and shoot for hours on end with multiple different outfit changes. And sometimes you gotta just hustle and do it on your own. And I have become quite the pro at that. So I am going to take you along today and show you how I do that. Um, all of the things that I mentioned are gonna be linked below. So check out the description box if you want links to any of the items I talk about. Um, and if you're down there, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram so that you can see kind of the final product of a lot of these photos. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into the video. All right, so before you start shooting your Instagram content, there's a couple of different things that you need to be doing ahead of time. So one of those is going to be location scouting. Um, this could probably be a whole video in and of itself, but when you're out and about driving around, always be on the lookout for different locations of where you can shoot, um, whether that be kind of like a grungy street style look or if you like a nature look or the beach or you know city vibes country vibes whatever it is that you prefer always keep an eye out when you're driving around if you're in a new location like I was when I made some of the clips for this vlog um, I would suggest looking up online or talking to a friend who lives in the area for what kind of vibe you're going for and then when you get there turn off your navigation and just drive around keep your eyes open for anywhere that you can pull over and get some cool shots um, usually you kind of would think in your head that the photos or the locations need to be these big grand beautiful areas but a lot of times like even in a weird back alley there's really cool pockets where there's nice lighting and like a cool corner that you can shoot in so definitely be an open-minded person when you're looking for locations and just always be on the lookout you'll also want to take into account whether or not you feel super comfortable shooting in front of other people I personally really don't have any shame when it comes to shooting if I'm with a friend. So if I have someone there with me, I'll shoot in front of a big crowd of people and I don't care. But if I'm alone with my tripod, I'm super shy when it comes to taking photos. So I kind of gravitate towards places that are like, uh, the top of an empty parking garage or a residential street during the week when no one's there or um, like an empty stretch of the beach different places where people aren't going to be out and about so you don't have to feel embarrassed because it is really awkward when you're shooting and vibing and then someone kind of comes by you and you're just like I feel like I need to move now um, part of that also is just learning how to be confident around people and really not caring because to be honest People are used to other people taking photos. If they're gonna make fun of you, whatever, at least your content's gonna look bomb and they probably are bored and sad with their lives. So you're gonna have to get some confidence and just go for it. But if you know that you're nervous or you're just starting out, look for somewhere that's a little bit more private so you can get more comfortable. The other thing that you'll wanna do when you're planning for your Instagram content is to try on your outfits at home in the mirror before you go out. So I'm kind of a big culprit of when I know I'm doing a photo shoot or going out to shoot content I'll just throw a bunch of stuff in my car and be like oh I'll put together some outfits when I get there it is so much harder to do that than it is to plan your outfits ahead of time and I'm talking about shoes jewelry sunglasses bags like accessories props anything you're gonna use put all of that on at home take a photo in the mirror so you know exactly what you need to bring and how you're gonna put it together because when you're out on location and you're changing in the car and you don't have a full-length mirror it's gonna be really stressful to think, oh, how does this look? Does this look good? And then once you look at your photos, you're not gonna be happy with your outfit. So definitely, 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 and I'm telling myself this so that I take a mental note too, try on your own clothes at home, take the photo, and that way it'll be a breeze on shoot day. When you're planning out your outfits, you're also gonna wanna have the location that you're shooting at in mind. So if you know that you're going to the beach, you might want more of a relaxed, casual vibe. If you're doing like a city shoot or more street style, you're gonna want, you know, jeans and sneakers and whatever it is. And obviously this is up to your own creative liberty so if you want to do like cool juxtaposition like a girly ball gown in the middle of you know the 
trashy street, then I think that's really cool and that's something I would do. But plan it out ahead of time with the location in mind and then again, it'll make you a lot less stressed when you're shooting. Okay, so next up, I'm going to talk about some of the different items that I found that have really helped me out when I'm doing a photo shoot. The first one that has been a complete lifesaver for me is a big bar and a rack that goes in the back of your car seat and hangs on the little like hand holds in the back. That way you can hang up your clothes. Um, I hang most of my clothes, including like pants, jackets, shirts, whatever at home. So everything is already on hangers. And for me, it's a real pain to have to take everything off, fold it up into a bag and then take it out when I'm shooting. It's super annoying. So having a car, like a bar in the back of your car is so convenient. So you can just hang everything everything up. You can kind of put outfits together quickly and it's just gonna be a big breeze for you. I also really like to have a jewelry organizer. This is something I got recently for Christmas and it's been a game changer. This really helps you just bring a lot of options when it comes to jewelry or hair accessories, different things like that. Um, and it keeps everything organized and it's also really easy to see everything laid out in front of you. That way you know exactly what you're going for when you're changing your outfit. You're obviously going to also need a tripod. So so this is kind of whatever you prefer. I like having a bigger sturdy tripod when it comes to taking photos. I always shoot on my phone. I never really use a fancy camera if I'm shooting on my own, um, but I want a tripod that's not going to blow over, that is different adjustable heights, um, cause I, you never know what you're gonna want or what you're gonna need when you get onto the location and just something that's gonna be sturdy and not gonna break on me. So I have, like I said, the links down below for all these products. This tripod has been a lifesaver for me. I did have to buy a specific phone attachment for it, but the nice thing about the attachment that I'm linking is that it screws open instead of pulls, if you know what I mean, because I have the, um, iPhone 12 Pro Max and it's really big. So a lot of the phone attachments for tripods don't fit my phone, which is super annoying. So this one works perfectly. So definitely would suggest getting that if you have a big phone too. You're also definitely gonna wanna bring lotion and a brush. And then if you feel uncomfortable changing in the car, you're probably gonna wanna bring some type of blanket with you to lay over your lap or lay over your windows. Also, if you want to go the extra mile, there are like little pop-up changing tents. Um, I probably wouldn't even want to use one of those by myself because it seems weird to be like zipped in and you're more safe in your car if you're locked into your car. And I just usually find a little tucked away area to change in. But um, just keep that in mind when you're going out if you're gonna want something to be a little bit more concealed and more private. So when you get out to the location that you're ready to shoot in, you're in your outfit, you're ready to rock, you wanna make sure that you have good lighting. So this is something that I'm not gonna go into depth explaining because it is really complicated, but one of the bloggers that I follow who's awesome, her name's Mina, she went into a ton of detail about this and I actually learned a lot about lighting from her so I'm gonna link that down below definitely go watch her video um because it goes into depth really of like how she chooses lighting for her Instagram photos and it's super helpful so you're gonna want really good lighting that way you don't have to do too much fiddling or dealing with that on your own if you're shooting by yourself. When I'm setting up my tripod, I personally prefer a lower angle. So I always keep my tripod pretty short and angle it a little bit up. Um, you kind of want to focus on having less ground in the photo and more sky or building in the photo. So if my, like with this, if my feet are here, I don't want them cut off and I don't want them in the middle. I want them down at the bottom so that above my head, there's a lot of sky um, so that you can have more options when you're cropping later. And just overall, you're gonna to wanna to play with whatever angles you prefer. Some people like more of a straight on angle. Some people like it off to the side, whether you like profile shots, front on, behind, whatever that is, figure out what angles you like your photos shot from so that when you're setting up your own tripod, you know exactly what to go for. So on to my favorite part, obviously, is the actual photo taking. I recently discovered from TikTok this app called Lens Buddy, and let me tell you, this has been such a game changer because it basically takes your photos like every five seconds on an interval timer instead of having to press the timer button. I don't ever use one of those phone clickers because I just don't want to have to think about having something in my hand. Lens Buddy is so convenient. This is obviously not sponsored or anything, but I would definitely suggest that you guys try that out. Um, the other thing about photos that's kind of annoying, but something to think about is that the front camera is really not gonna be as good of quality as the back camera. But I know when you're shooting yourself, you obviously kind of want to see what you're 
you're doing, it's a lot easier to use the selfie mode. Um, so if you're really new and don't know too much of your angles yet, or you wanna get things done quick, definitely you can use the front camera and just fix that in editing about how kind of the quality isn't as good. But if you do want to use the back camera, I would definitely suggest turning your sound on. So you're able to kind of pose and figure out when to change your pose every time you hear that shutter click. Um, and it really helps a lot. I did this last time I was shooting and it actually was so, so, so helpful. The last tip I have when you're shooting on your own is just to be really patient with yourself. I know it can be super frustrating to not have someone you can kind of direct or not have someone to direct you when you're posing. You might look at all the photos and just hate them, but if that happens, just roll with the punches. You can always change the location, move on to a different outfit, go somewhere else, change the lighting, whatever that may be. Um, I would suggest trying a lot of different kind of depths of field. So take some full body shots, take some close up selfie ones, just play around and that's where all of the creativity and fun comes in. And this is something that you'll get used to over time. I used to be so awkward when I had to shoot by myself in front of a tripod, but now I've kind of gotten used to what angles I know are gonna look good and what kind of outfits are gonna shoot well and just what places I would want someone to help me shoot in versus where I can go on my own. So it is a learning curve. You guys will definitely get used to it. Don't let it intimidate you. But yeah, overall, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I know it can be really intimidating, but I promise you can do it. If you wanna follow me on Instagram to see a lot of the content that I've shot myself, I would say more than less of the photos on there were taken by myself with a tripod, unless obviously it's like a studio shoot and I've had someone to help me. But anyways, um, I hope you guys go check that out and that this video was overall helpful to you. Make sure you subscribe down below and I will talk to you next time. Bye!